For today's video, we are headed to the Deseret Industries. We have been wanting to redo our tables in the back for a while and we need a base for our farm table. So instead of building one, we are going to buy a table at the store and then take the legs and put it on a new top. So I am at the Desert Industries looking for some table legs that could make them, but if I can find them already made, they'll save us hours of time and maybe some money. Well, those would be perfect if there were four of them, but there's only two. Those four legs might work, but they might be too short because they have that base on the bottom. So I'll have to have Zeb look at that. And I'll see what they have outside. Darn it, those these ones here are fantastic. I wish that there was four legs. So Zeb and I have chosen these legs. We're gonna keep just the ends, do a new cross beam in the middle. So that way we can make it a lot longer because I wanna see 10 or 12 people. Zeb says that'll work. That'll be easy. So now we are headed to Home Depot because we need wood for the top. We do have wood in our wood pile, but none of it's long enough. And I want a really long table, so. Are we going 12 feet or 10 feet? I mean, if you're gonna go 10, you might as well go 12. We'll have to, Here's we'll like, will it fit? Let's get 12 foot boards, and then that way, if they're too long, I can cut them down. Always a good idea. Then we don't have to come back to the store. So we're gonna go into Home Depot and see what they have. Zeb is getting the lumber for the top, and somehow there's also a pizza oven on here. How, how do we wind up with a pizza oven on there? You know I'm gonna cook you some delicious pizza. Yeah, well, also it was my idea. <laughs> I was like, hundred dollars off, pizza oven, yes. I'm gonna load up all the wood. At least the sun decided to come out. It's not raining anymore. It was raining yeah, earlier. It's hot and humid now. It's hot and humid. We don't even know what humidity is here. I think the people in the south would laugh at you for saying it's humid. <laughs> I've been to the south and I pretty much pass out just walking outside the AC. I pass out just thinking about being in the south when it's humid. We're going to start the top. We've decided to use our old tables as kind of a workbench. And then one of these will go to the cottage. The other one, I don't know. I might just put them both there for the time being because we might take one up to the property eventually when we like pour some sort of pad there. It'd be nice to have a table. We debated on the size of the table and we decided go big or go home. A skirt, like a leg in the middle because it's 12 feet long? No, because I'm going to put a big skirt on it, a two by six skirt. And then also in the middle, there's going to be support beams going across. I missed it, but Zeb just used glue and put a bead of glue in between each one. And then he's also going to screw them together. We just used type on two. Actually, that's type on three, huh? Yeah, it's exterior. It's exterior grade. It does dry fast, so work quickly. So I'm using clamps on the sides to keep the top straight. I'm sitting here putting the thrift haul in, but I'm filming from afar. This is like a really great way to keep it from bowing. So he'll do the exact same thing on the other side and then he will drill the table and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so Zeb used this drill bit. What is this kind of drill bit Counter called? Countersink. Countersink drill bit to put pocket holes in and he's just using one and, five a quarter, eighths. One and five eighths inch screws and he's going this direction, then that direction, then this direction, then that direction. He's going to move this clamp, the big Bessie, right? As you go along. Yeah, that's tight now, that's not going anywhere. So then he'll move that and then we'll just keep going all the way down 12 feet. So Lehi is officially the Pacific Northwest. There is my 12 foot tabletop sopping wet. Maybe we're gonna be working on this inside today. I don't know, but it rained all evening yesterday. It's been raining all morning today. It is glued and screwed together. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can get this finished before tomorrow because I gotta get my video done and up by Friday morning. <laughs> okay, so I carved out a little space here in the garage. I cut this with the jigsaw, just a little rounded corner, made a straight line all the way down. We're gonna add a little detail to the skirt of this and I'm gonna cut this with the skill saw. I'm using the skill saw here so that I can get a nice straight line way easier than trying to use the jigsaw down the whole thing and it gets you a nice clean cut. So now we've got a nice little taper there at the end, little curvature, both ends there. I'm gonna use that as a template. For the next step, I'm just gonna put some holes here into the skirt so that I can attach it to the top of the table. sand that flush while we're sanding the whole table and it'll go away. The skirt of the table is on and I am going to see about setting these legs on it. I can't decide what width I want them so I've got to 
set it out there first and then we'll see where I want the legs at. Okay, so now it's time to sand everything up. Use an 80 grit, gonna get these stickers off, sand off all of the stamps from the lumber yard and get all these little edges, soften things up and then we'll sand the top up. We love everything about the look of these legs except for these random notches in here. So we're gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna fill them with Bondo. We are using a little bit different Bondo. Normally I use the all-purpose Bondo, but this is the high bond filler, fastest drying Bondo and it's supposed to stick super, super well and fill cracks and things really well. So we're gonna give it a run. I'll let you know how I like it it dries fast so I'm going to just mix up a little at a time cream hardener it doesn't tend to harden up unless you use this they color it so you can see when you've got it all mixed in all right so this table is built a little bit different than the table these legs came off from so we figured out where we want them about 12 inches from the edge of this skirt. I'm just gonna put a couple of blocks in here and then the legs will sit on top of this and that'll give us our correct height. So I've been thinking about how I want the top of this to look and I didn't want to use dark and decrepit because it's too dark. I didn't want old and gray because it's too gray. I didn't want to bleach it because that's too light. So I thought, I'm gonna mix 50% old and gray, dark and decrepit. We'll see what happens. You can totally mix these because they're both the same formula, just different pigments. So they should mix and make a really middle of the road stain. They do have a built-in sealer, but we will go ahead and put more sealer on there because this is gonna be outside. So we're just getting this side plugged. It's about to get sanded. That leg will get popped out of there and then Jamie will stain this one too. Guess this is going outside and this is like a really slick finish. I'm just gonna prime my piece before we paint it with the cottage color. So just getting a coat of primer on here and apparently getting it all over my clothes too. It will also make it so I don't have to have so many coats of the cottage color because this primer will give us a nice white base to start off with. You can really see how the Bondo, now that it's painted or primed, is making that uh, those little gouges go away. They look like animal whiskers. Like, I don't know why they were popular, but I didn't like <laughs> We have had this water-based spar urethane. It's bare for probably a couple years now. We went ahead and sealed our floor in the kitchen of the 1917 part of the house with this and it's worked out great, but I've been stirring it and stirring it and stirring it. I feel like it might've turned because it's been sitting here a couple years. I'm gonna use it on the bottom of the table, but we'll see. Once we get around to the top of the table, I might not use it. It's not looking healthy. Yeah, it's got like chunks. Just on the top. <laughs> the apron of this is gonna be painted in white linen, just like the feet. So I'm just going to try to carefully cut it it really doesn't matter if the lip's not perfect it's my table but if i was selling this i'd no i'd probably still do it this way <laughs> but you could tape it off if you were worried about it i'm just gonna cut it along the edge are we gonna do the legs the same color you did the other table no the legs are going white you're gonna keep the legs gonna white on the this chairs one. to match the legs of the buffet oh i see it, once we find some chairs hopefully we we should have about 42 chairs in the barn so. well you're going to need about 12. well i'm probably going to paint about 10 to get started all right so far it looks like it's working well it doesn't seem to be discoloring it except for where i get these chunks and hopefully uh we can get those we might just strain it out and use it on the top because we're going to do a bunch of sealer on the top like a lot a lot might as well use epoxy on it but we're gonna do this. The primer has dried and I'm just gonna put on a couple coats of this white linen. It is rated for outdoors, but this wood underneath is not. So we'll probably go ahead and put sealer 
on top of this as well, I'm debating. I might just do three coats of it because sometimes those sealers, even if they say they're not gonna make stuff yellow, they can yellow white. So we'll see what happens. Oh, your favorite part. It is. Because you get to see, people think that I don't like wood grain because I paint everything. It's just, I love wood grain. I just don't love certain shades of it. Sometimes I think it looks better with paint. But this part is really fun. Oh no, Jamie, what have you done? <laughs> I wanted it to look more old, you know? I can't have things looking like all new. It was pretty stark and fresh looking. And the dark and decrepit looked good, but this has given us like a really nice pickling look. And all she's doing is she's taking some DIY white swan, which is the clay based paint that does not have the sealer built in. Oh, that's vintage linen. It really doesn't matter. White swan, vintage linen, whatever white you pick, you're wiping a lot of it back. Yeah, it's she's got a damp rag with water in it and she's just wiping this back. And I, if it's too much, I can come back and get it wet again and reactivate it. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna get it on here and then I'll get my And this bag. is watered down, right? My, not really, I mean a little bit. A Little bit watered down? Yeah. Okay. And my rag is damp. Damp rag. We used to do this all the time, remember? Yeah. We, we, we would, we would uh, almost dry brush it on and then one of us would go, but this is small enough you wouldn't be able to do it all yourself. Although you, you miss a spot, you need to do some, gonna, oh, you you do some more spot? rubbing right here get that wet maybe what? there you go there you go you still missed the spot it's like right here <laughs> okay now i can go get that wet all right they say you gotta go to the gym to work out but i i just lifted this with zeb and i'm gonna tell you right now a 12 foot tabletop is legit so heavy but already I can tell that this table is going to look awesome here. I was worried it'd be too big, but I actually love the way it fills the space. No, I think if we'd have done 10 feet or 11 feet, it would have been too short. Like it's just about perfect at 12. All right, All right. Jamie's going to lay this on there and I will follow up with nice, my damp rag. The nice thing is, is if it does like dry too much, it's okay because it's water soluble and water activated. So we can reactivate it and get the exact look we want. And that's why I went with the clay base paint instead of cottage color because I needed it to be able to be workable for a while. Look, we have a pool on top of our pool. There's about six inches of water sitting on the cover there. I need to add water to it. Yeah, I'm having to wipe too hard. It's drying fast in the sun. Like I pretty much wiped it all off. That's working. So if I was doing this for inside, this would definitely be my last step. The final finish is top coat. This is our hardest drying top coat that we carry. It does have some VOC, so it's not completely all natural. I just don't know what outdoor sealer I wanna use. So I'm gonna use this for now, and then I'll come back later when I find the best outdoor sealer ever, and then I'll seal this all up. The dogs are always out here when we're working. Rex, where are you going? Rex, come here, Rex. What are you doing? So the sealer is still drying on here. We've got two coats on there on both tables. I'm gonna let them sit overnight, see how they do. We don't have any storms in the forecast for like a week. So, you know, cross your fingers. Hopefully they get cured up nice. I feel like that doesn't mean anything. We also need to use 400 grit sandpaper, lightly sand them, and then I'll do one more coat of the final finishes. The Cottage Color has an outdoor rated sealer in it, but I still want to find a water-based outdoor sealer that doesn't yellow yeah. so if you know of a really good one comment below and let me know what your favorite outdoor sealer is These that doesn't will, yellow that doesn't yellow these will be okay like i said we've got sealer on there they've got the cottage color i just want it to last like a really long time so she doesn't want to have to redo them every spring no 
<laughs> I love the stain finish. It turned out awesome. It looks like old barn wood, which is amazing. If you need the paint and products that we used here today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Stay tuned for close-ups and video. Also, stay tuned for the next coming oh, up video for chairs. Part, part two, <laughs> next Friday, you'll see all the chairs and maybe I'll get it staged up by then. Yeah, no chairs yet. <laughs>